<clears throat> can milk plus run make you a champion? <laughs> it's not exactly like this, but with our Milk Run Optimization Plus set, you can win any supply chain race. Did you know that with proper route optimization tools, you can save up to 20% in mileage and improve your order capacity without increasing your fleet? Long live the Milk Run Plus! Now you can create and optimize four different types of routes with multi-day route planning. Get the answer on the question how many vehicles do you need and what is the optimal way to deliver your shipments considering different time window profiles. Result-driven Milkram features are ready for your use case to be sold and on this concrete and detailed example you can perfectly learn how to use this app. Let's dive into it. A sports equipment company from Switzerland is transporting all the products throughout the country using a central warehouse in Syria. A problem appears with exceeded costs because of big number of vehicles used and a constant delay of the shipment. They want to find the optimal shipping fulfillment plan for different route types considering vehicle profiles and time window profiles. Let's see which of the routes they have to take and how each one of them will be optimized. Some of the trucks a company from Switzerland uses for transport are heading first to the suppliers on different locations to pick up the goods. After, they are going to store the products into the central warehouse located in Zurich. We want to see how the routing situation will be optimized, taking into consideration vehicle profiles and time window profiles. The company needs to know what is the optimal number of vehicles needed and the optimal start location from which the pickup should begin. We will fill in first the depot information, then the vehicle specification, the details about pickup and delivery orders and time window profiles, which show what are the earliest and latest pickup delivery times for a particular order. After providing the depot name and address, we specified all vehicles this company has on disposal. We add vehicle type ID and total number of vehicles available for each vehicle type. The name of the depot inputted in the depot table is connected to inserted address, which is the reason this depot needs to have a unique naming throughout all the tables where that specific depot name is required. That's why in the vehicles table for end depot information we input depot Zurich. We leave the column start depot empty to allow the optimizer choose the best option. We now specify the maximum weight, volume and pallets which can be packed into each vehicle type. In this column we insert what is the maximum number of stops per route that particular vehicle type can have. Start and end time window for the vehicles represent the earliest and the latest time the vehicles can start and end their journey. Regarding the profile column you can choose between truck or car which you are specifying. In Milkran Optimization Plus app in the backhand we set up some average speed for different types of vehicles based on the route that they are taking. For this purpose we use OpenStreetMap engine. For example, there are trucks which cannot drive some specific route because that route is only available for car. Or we can still use the truck but going through some different highway which is not forbidden for this vehicle type. We also specify the speed factor, choosing between values from 0.1 to 5. If we want to speed down the vehicle, we will set up some values between 0.1 and 0.9. And if speeding up is what our vehicles need, we choose between values from 1.1 until 5. If we decide to speed up the vehicles 50% more than existing speed, we will insert 1.5. Now we are adding all the suppliers the Switzerland company has to pick up the goods from. We listed all of them with unique order ID and addresses. After entering the weight, volume and pallets of each particular order, we specify is each one of the orders pickup or a delivery. Taking into account the end depot is known location, we specify the order type as a pickup, because the vehicles first have to pick up the goods from the suppliers and then deliver them to the central warehouse in Zurich. In depot ID we add a depot Zurich, which is the central warehouse location. If you want to specify which vehicle type should ship certain order, you can fill the vehicle type ID column with the name of that particular vehicle type. If any of the vehicles can be used to fulfill the order, then leave the field empty and allow the optimizer choose what would be the best option. In this case we want to see what would be that suggested option. In stop duration column we specify the information about what time is needed to pick up or deliver the order. The time window profile determines the earliest, latest possible time the order can be fulfilled. Those exact times are defined in the last time window profiles table. 
multiple time windows can be modeled by having several records with the same profile ID. That means one profile ID can correspond to records attached to the same day, but we can also include in one profile ID records determined on different days, in case pickups and deliveries are served on multi-day shipments. The company from Switzerland is not picking up and delivering all the shipments for each route on the same day, which is why, for example, we use one-time window ID to show different days during which the route should be completed. Before running the calculation on a road level, we specify the duration unit in seconds, minutes or hours. This unit depends on the stop duration column. The Switzerland company measures stop duration in minutes, which is why this duration unit is selected. The optimizer shows 10 vehicles and routes that should be taken together with route overview and details. Specified are also number of stops for each route and vehicle, road distance for this trip, driving time duration, stop duration, as well as the waiting time, which refers to the delay during which the drivers and vehicles are waiting to start picking up or delivering the goods. We have the information about time window profile for each of the routes, with starting and ending time. Specified are also delivery and pickup weight, volume and pallets, which can be fulfilled in the vehicles. You can also have insights into the minimum and maximum height the vehicles are passing on the road. The route detail table gives a detailed overview of the routes, including the start location of each route and the stops in between. In external orders table, placed are the orders that cannot be fulfilled. The reason can be the trip, which is too long, or if you don't have enough available vehicles, or if the time window profile is not compatible. In those cases, here will be listed those external orders that will not be optimized. Now, all the orders are optimized successfully. Visualization using MyMaps platform offers you real road distance perspective thanks to street level visualization. You can see the detailed visualization of each route, including where the route starts and ends. For example, for the route 1, the start location is Supplier 2, while the end location for all 10 routes is Depot Zurich. Depending on the position of the arrow you can check is the type of order, a pickup or a delivery. Arrow down represents a pickup, while arrow up shows a delivery. Here we pick up the goods from the suppliers and deliver them to the central warehouse at Zurich, which is why we only have one delivery point. We also here have elevation chart included for each route, where you can see what are your maximum and minimum height for total distance and duration of specific route. The Switzerland company also has trucks determined only to transport the products from central warehouse in Zurich in order to deliver them to all the customers and then get back to Zurich. What is different considering this route type are known start and end location both in Zurich. According to that, we input depot Zurich in start and end depot column. Now the type of order is delivery, which is specified in pickup delivery column. We also listed the locations of all the customers in whose stores the products should be delivered. As a result, the optimizer found the optimal seven routes serviced by these seven vehicle types. When visualizing the results, the company can check what is the order of the stops in between. For example, for the Route 2, the second location will be Store 8 and the third location Store 7. The start and end location for each one of the routes is Depot Zurich. One group of vehicles starts their journey at Zurich from where they are servicing the customers. And after delivering the goods to the customers, some products are also transported to the second warehouse located in Baden, where the vehicles should end their routes. That's why now beside Depot Zurich, we added Depot Baden information in the first table and provided an address for it. We also input the Depot Baden and Depot column. For each pickup, we need to have end depot and for each delivery, you must specify start depot. That means everywhere where there is a pickup as a type of order, we input Depot Baden, and where we have a delivery as a type of order, we insert Depot Zurich. As a result, we see that utilization of the fleet this company has for this route type would be the best if using these six different routes and six different vehicles that will fulfill the shipments. Chosen vehicle types are also specified. In this case, the Switzerland company will have some waiting time for Route 3 of around 37 minutes. If we take a look at the Route Details table, we see that waiting time occurs at Store 8. Vehicle has 15 minutes of stop duration for picking up the order. 
then it has to wait for 37 minutes to respect the time window profile because the departure time from store 8 and the arrival time at store 2 must be at 1.45. When visualizing the results, company can see what is the routing order they should take for specific route. For example, for the route 1 after starting point, the next location would be store 8 and then store 4. The beginning of a journey for all the routes is Zurich, while all the shipments are ending at Baden. The Switzerland company has vehicles that are delivering the sports equipment from Zurich to the customers and they can end their routes at any location. Now we want the optimizer to choose where the routes should be finished. We specify only the depot Zurich as a start depot, leaving the end depot column empty. Taking into consideration we have only the start depot, then in the pickup and delivery orders table we enter everywhere delivery as an order type. The results we got include 13 routes and 13 vehicles with these specified vehicle types. When visualizing the results on customizable map, we can see the end location for each route. For example, the route 2 is ending at store 9, route 8 ends at store 4, while the route 11 ends at store 7. For all the routes, starting depot is depot Zurich. Complex challenges with increasing number of stops and vehicles at your disposal are no longer the reason to think and worry, but to act. Let's sum up what we have achieved by running this Miltron Optimization Plus analysis. First of all, we got optimal routing plan based on predefined restrictions such as vehicle features, loading and unloading time. Then we did the optimization of different route types for multi-day shipment based on different time window profiles and vehicles profile. And at the end, we achieved the best utilization of the fleet. And now we want to encourage you to try your own Milkram Plus analysis and write us on support at lockhub.com if you have any obstacles on the way. When talking about help, you might need it while playing in our portfolio. Sometimes the invisible errors can hunt you and push you back, and we don't want that. That's why I strongly advise you to see this first-hand helper video, Top 8 Things You Do Wrong in Supply Chain Apps because here you can save yourself many troubles which can really be resolved quickly and easily. Our dedication for your supply chain improvement will continue with many more useful tutorials about all the apps from our portfolio plus most popular topics you're interested in. So subscribe and enjoy! Stay with me and LogHub!